and a single cloud in the sky, and the next we were drenched to the bone. The townsfolk were certainly appreciative, and that means much in these trying times. Where did you learn such sorcery? I was born with it, as were my forebears. In the far reaches of Hyzant, my people dwell, acting as shamans and summoning rain when the people cried for it. You hail from Hyzant? I suppose we should count our blessings that you found your way to our ranks. Ah, so you're Izana. We've heard tell of a witch using her dark arts to frighten the peasants into submission. Rest assured, we shall conduct a thorough investigation into these rumors. In the meantime, your presence is requested at the Hierophant's palace. Rumors from whom? There are no dark arts being practiced here. And the people are not scared of me. I provide them rain when they require it. That is all. Quiet, witch. Save your remonstrations for the Inquisition. Is this their investigation? My guilt was decided ere they laid eyes upon me. Perhaps they are threatened by the sight of the common folk huddled around your warming smile. The Goddess of Salt is a jealous mistress, after all, and her subjects... It is as you said. If you appear before the Inquisition, you will surely be found guilty, and the punishment will... Then what recourse is left to me? If the tentacles of the Church can reach this far, then nowhere in Hyzant is safe. We must flee our borders, and go far from the gaze of the Zealots. It will be just as we promised each other. We'll start a new life, together. Is that truly what you want? Tis hardly the new beginning we envisioned. That matters not, only that it is ours. Very well. Then let us meet again at nightfall. You know where. Until then, my love. I shall count the minutes till next we meet. Alas, he did not come. Another victim of the Inquisition's tyranny. Had he never met me, would he still be alive today? Should I have said nothing and fled alone in the night? I am sorry for your loss, but you mustn't blame yourself. It was hardly your fault. And you do not know his fate for certain. He could very well still be alive. Perhaps. I tried to seek him out, but there was little I could do with the church's agents breathing down my neck. They burned down his home, and his family was never heard from again. I fear the worst. <sighs> the Goddess of Salt must be named so for the tears she causes. She took everything from me. Her minions, all of Hyzant. They bear responsibility for my grief, and I aim to see that they answer for it. Although we have known each other only briefly, I sense a strong ally in you. Will you lend me your sword when the time comes? Of course. Of that you can be certain. Master Archibald, is there something on your mind? Ah. Got it.
this be good? I must be getting on in years for you to be able to sneak up on me like that. What troubles you? I was only reminiscing. Indie days like these tend to blow my mind back a couple of decades or more. <laughs> reminiscing about what? The Salt Iron War. Hard to believe it's been 30 whole years. Some days I almost forget my time as one of the saintly seven. I defended the Citadel of Sand through the conflict. I was there when Esfrost attacked. A number of Roselin prisoners who tried to escape the source were there too. Including Our Lady Frederica's dear mother. What's this? She stayed behind all by herself to help the countless numbers of her fellow Roselle flee. That's how she was captured. But I knew we couldn't hold the Citadel. So I helped her and her friends escape in secret before the enemy attacked. The wind blew just as hard that night as it's blowing now. I'll never forget watching the Roselle caked all over in mud as they slipped away into the dark. So you didn't want innocents to get caught up in the coming battle? It never settled right with me. The way the goddess's teachings permitted abuse of the Roselle for the supposed sins of their past. A person's life isn't worth more or less just because of the conditions of their birth. More than anything, I was moved by the selfless acts of Lady Frederica's mother. She, she was able to do what I never could. Risk her life to save her friends. I couldn't let someone like that die. Not on my watch. It wasn't long until the other saintly seven discovered what I'd done. They branded me a traitor, stripped me of my title, and sentenced me to death. Of course, I slipped out of their clutches before they could have my head. <laughs> I wandered for a while before taking up life as a merchant under the King of Glenbrook's patronage. I never knew you and Lady Frederica's mother shared such a past. Well, it is in the past. Anyway. Let us return. This cold night wind is making my old bones ache something fierce. Apologize for speaking so rashly earlier. You need not. It was thanks to you it did not come to blows. Perhaps it is I who should apologize for bringing you here. No. I am happy to be here with you. Did something happen? We were spared from a battle thanks to Lady Frederica. My lady worries too much for her own good, but is braver than most. Svarag took the salt in exchange for our lives, so we haven't any coin to show for it. Perhaps we should have told them who I am. There are more ways than one to fill one's pockets. The salt was intended for Svarag. And Svarag received it. But we haven't the money to repay Minister Sorsley. Indeed. But had we sufficient coin, it would seem like the transaction were a success. Oh, I can see you scheming something again. I suppose schemes come with the territory of illicit trading. If no one loses out, no one complains. But where could we get the money? Our best option is to speak with the Norzelia Consortium. You mean to negotiate with Claris? Indeed. He is an avaricious man, but reliable when one needs money. You plan to ask the Consortium how to get coin for an illegal trade? Are you mad? I have no intention of disclosing why we need the money. 
but his dealings extend far below the surface. It is worth speaking with him. Then speak to him we shall. Anna, if you would. Our apologies on the sudden summons, Clarus. Nonsense. It is my pleasure to lend an ear to any request from the famed House Wolfort. That mask! Could you be? I see. So you were in need of funds to restore your fallen house. Indeed. And we would hear any wisdom you have for us. And my wisdom you shall hear. What say you to participating in a little tournament? A tournament? Like the one in Glenbrook? Something like that. Though this one is not known to the masses. Aristocrats, merchants, and the like from every nation gather to watch the strongest compete. An illegal tourney, no doubt, involving befitting sums of money. But of course. Unfortunately, one of the entrants has forfeited his seat. You must forgive me, but would that masked gentleman by any chance be the revered Sir Maxwell? I am. Ah, just as I suspected. You made quite a name for yourself in Glenbrook's tournaments. I am sure the audience would rejoice to see a true hero in the ring. Rest assured that you would also receive a handsome reward for entering. What say you? What else can you tell us about this tournament, aside from its illegal nature? A sharp man you are. Unlike Glenbrook's mock battles, the ones here are true. Nothing is guaranteed. So entrants put their very lives on the line in this arena. And I shall enter regardless. This is my fault. I must fight. <sighs> very well. But we fight beside you. We have a deal. Oh, how the crowd will rejoice seeing House Wolfort compete. It is my utmost pleasure to announce our next match, one that far surpasses even my wildest dreams. In one corner, we have a legendary warrior whose name is known in every corner of the realm. Please welcome the Dawn Spear, Maxwell. In the other corner, we have our reigning champion, the Bounty Hunter and famed hero Spain, Rufus! Oh, I heard I'd be facing Maxwell, but didn't know he'd be bringing some familiar faces. I hope you whelps are ready for a rematch. Let the battle of the century begin! Understood. To battle with pleasure. Defeat is not an option. You're damned right. Let's go. I will end this. Suffer. Victory is within reach. You won't. 
My turn. Take that! Out of my way! Yes. So, Don Spear, what have you got? I want to see what you're capable of. Save your breath, then. You'll need it when you're screaming for mercy at the end of my blade. Tell me who to kill. Might die, you bastard! <laughs> A wasted effort. Forward! I'll make this quick. <sighs> it hurts. Ha <laughs> ha. Too awkward. Damn fool. No, we begin. Painful, isn't it? Your wounds are. My apologies. Come at me. Look to my shield. Strike while the iron's hot. Take this. I fight for peace. Blaine, heed my call. To top it off. For this. Once you're dead, sheer goal. Out of my way for the honor of House Wolfort. Thought you had me, huh? Yes. Impressed? Cool heads shall prevail. My apologies. I'll take you on! Time to die! Whatever it takes. This is good. Let me show you what I've learned. Blaine, heed my call! Tell me who to kill. For victory! It ends here! I shirk from no danger! Forward! For my kith and kin. Time to take action. Let me heal your wounds. This is what I do. Thank you. Come at me! Out of my way! <sighs> Allow me. I shall protect you! Tell me who to kill. I'm the first. <sighs> Charge! Away <sighs> with you! Defeat is not an option. Wait your <sighs> turn! What are we here? Time to take action. Take this! Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. My thanks. Come at me! Look to my shield! Allow me. Let me That's help. a big help. Charge! Take the hell out of me! You're making this interesting. The situation is grim. Whatever it takes. I will end this. 
We will make our ideals reality. Damn it! And the victor is... Team Maxwell. The legends of the Dawn Spear were true after all. A round of applause for our masked victor. I did it, Master. Oh ho ho! A truly exhilarating show you put on, my friends. You almost wouldn't believe Glenbrook's been conquered. Taking a look around here. It is in our nature to seek that which amuses us, especially in dark times like these. Just so. And it is thanks to that very nature I can reward you so handsomely for joining the tourney. This is much more than we agreed upon. Indeed. But this is an illicit arena, and as such, I'd be loath for others to find out about it. I see. Then we accept this with a promise to keep your secret. And the secret of Maxwell's survival among ourselves. It is always a pleasure to see the prowess of House Wolfort. I hope to do business with you again in the future. Indeed, if such an opportunity arises. Now we can report back to Minister Sorsley. Money in hand. Let us return to House End. 